Hey guys, this is AJYT Abbott, and today I'm going to be ranking all the films in the Star Wars trilogy, or trilogies, if you will. Now, before I get started, there will be spoilers for some of these Star Wars films, <coughs> and even even if one of your favorites is at the bottom, I love all these films just the same. It's just some films are more weaker than others, and I'm going to be honest, the one that's at the bottom of the list, I still love. It's just the weakest one for me. So... Let's dive right in. <clears throat> At number 10 is Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This is just sort of a weak one for me. I still love it. I watch it. But, I mean, it is super enjoyable. I do like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Django uh, is a lot of fun. You know, older Anakin, obviously, is really, really cool. Um, we get some more info on the Force and everything. Some cool spaceship stuff. Typical, awesome Star Wars fun. Still love it. Um, coming in at number 9 is Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Um, I saw this in theaters when they were showing it in New York. Like, not obviously not when it came out. But they showed it, I believe it was like a couple years. Or no, it was, I don't know. I don't know when it was. But they were just showing it like it was a special showing in New York. Um, but this is a classic, you know, Yoda, Young Anakin, this is pod racing, Qui-Gon Jinn, this is just a classic, and I love it. Um, coming in at number 8 is episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This is still a really cool one, you know, we get to see Anakin, you know, slipping to the dark side, Darth Vader, um, of course, Leia and Yoda and Palpatine, and, you know... Oh, yeah, Mace Windu is in this, um, Samuel Jackson, which is great, you know, Obi-Wan and, and Anakin's fight and everything. It was a really, really awesome, um, film. It's just one of the more weaker ones for me, um, but it's still an epic one. I would still request any of these movies, even if some of them are weak. Um, coming in at number seven, I believe, we're on is Star Wars Rogue One. I really did enjoy this movie. Um, I like the quest that they go on, all the different characters. Now, you know, they all make sacrifices and they and they may all die, but they made a difference. And you know, they got the Death Star plans to Leia in the end. I thought it was a really decent movie, like the Tie Fighters and the uh, ATAT fights, um, K two S O, and you know. Um, I think they're doing a Disney Plus show about the main guy. So, coming in at number six, I believe, is A New Hope. Um, which is, you know, pretty much the, a continuation of Rogue One, if you think about it. Because, you know, at the end of Rogue One, you know, they deliver the Death Star plans to Princess Leia. Jin dies and all that. And they're like, we have A New Hope. So that brings us to this movie, and I really do love this movie, because, you know, we have Han Solo, Han friggin' Solo, Chewbacca, really old um, Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting Darth Vader, um, and obviously CP3 and R2-D2 thrown into the mix, and Luke and Darth Vader, oh man, and Leia in this movie is really cool, um, hands down a really awesome film. Then, coming in at number five, I believe, is Revenge, or, well, Return of the Jedi, um, and this is really cool, because this is coming off of Empire Strikes Back, um, I believe, it's been a little bit since I've actually watched these films, but I just, I still remember the stuff that happens in them. We have Lando, uh, Jabba having, you know, um, Leia as, a, as like, his prisoner, um, we get the e some Ewok stuff in there, um, and, like, the the pig guards are great, Darth Vader is great in this movie, and, you know, Han is being Han in this movie, and Lando has some fun stuff in there, flying around, Darth Vader's looking all menacing, this is really an awesome film, um, a great entry into the trilogy, and then, I'm gonna get some hate for this, um, coming in at number four is Star Wars The Last Jedi, I really didn't think I would enjoy this film as much as I did, but I really love this film. Um, the dial the dynamics between Rey and Kylo and some of their dialogue and you know, some of the moments between them in this movie are awesome. Luke's 
basically sacrifice using the, the last of his, you know, powers to, um, hold back Kylo, and, you know, eventually he, you know, he dies, um, the Porgs are fun, Finn's story is fun, um, Poe is really awesome in this movie, um, Snoke's death is by far one of the most epic deaths in the entire Star Wars, um, you know, history, General Hux is fun in this film, because literally everybody picks on him, Phasma and Finn was great, and come on, Kylo and, and, and Rey versus the, uh, guards, amazing. Coming in at number three is Solo, a Star Wars story, or no, this is number four, sorry, this is number four, Solo, a Star Wars story, um, I really love this movie, um, Alden, yeah, Iron, Iron Rich, Reich, Reich, and, you know, Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark, Donald Glover, just, and, and Paul, but Paul Bettany, just a fantastic cast in this movie, and I really, I really love Han Solo more as a character after this, especially, um, rewatching Force Awakens, it actually got me a little teary-eyed, because, you know, after watching Solo and learning so much more about Han, and, you know, growing really close to him, and, and Chewie and everything, and their story, and, you know, how they met, got the Millennium Falcon from Lando and everything, it's really even more heartbreaking when he gets killed in Force Awakens. Speaking of Force Awakens, coming in at number, um, number, frick, number two, um, is, yeah, coming in at number two is Star Wars The Force Awakens. This is episode 7, of course. Holy crap, guys. I really, really love this. This is was an epic comeback back for Star Wars. Um, introducing all these new characters, bringing back old ones, introducing this new menacing villain in Kylo Ren. Um, the moon sort of, like, ship they have going on in this movie is really cool. And, you know, it's, it's brought us some of our best characters that we know and love today. BB-8. Um, you know, Finn, Rey, obviously, Kylo, Phasma, and then, you know, Poe, and then it brings back old characters like Chewbacca, Leia, um, and Luke at the end, Han's in there, and, and R2-D2, and even cb 3 has some great moments in there, and even Admiral Akbar um, is in there. This is just a fantastic movie. Um, great comeback for Star Wars. But at number one, of course, is The Empire Strikes Back. Do I even need to explain myself on this one? This is an absolutely epic film. It's full of gut punches and amazing action sequences. The space battles in this are awesome. Of course, Luke with the um the Tauntauns on the, the ice planet. Oh my gosh, guys. And, you know, cutting it open and hiding inside of it. Luke and, um... Darth Vader's fight, you know, Darth Vader, the whole, I am your father, um, that's just classic, and, you know, cp 3 um, Han, Leia, Chewie, R2-D2, they're doing, they're having their own fun adventures, um, there's some cool, really cool stuff happening with Luke in this one, including, you know, him losing his hand, and blowing up, you know, ultimately saving the galaxy from Darth Vader, um, and this, it was just a really, it's a really dramatic Star Wars movie, but it's also, at least in my opinion, and several other people's opinions, the best Star Wars movie. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Remember, I love all these movies, just some of them are more weak and some of them are more strong. Um, let me know what Star Wars movie is your favorite, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.